John Lynch spoke today, said some interesting things, was asked about Jimmy Garoppolo's shoulder surgery. I think everyone was sort of waiting for the thumb surgery. No one really thought he was going to need shoulder surgery. He's going to have it. Hasn't had it yet. Going to have uh, surgery on his throwing shoulder. Lynch asked about it today, and he was like, look, I hate to say any surgery is minor, but it's essentially minor. He has some capsule issue in his shoulder. You could rehab it without surgery. And Jimmy has decided that he's going to have surgery is basically what he said. So very interesting. Lynch always says, like, the tone of his voice doesn't really match the content of what he's saying. He always says things in a very like, oh, gee, who cares? This is, ah, you know. But what he says is like, you get, if you just read the transcript, what you're saying is that Jimmy didn't really need surgery and it's minor and uh, you're surprised that he's doing it. And so my my question here is why did Jimmy Garoppolo wait a month? I mean, he's still waiting. He hasn't even done it yet. Why is Jimmy Garoppolo waiting so long to have this surgery? It's a weird thing. I mean, he could have got it done two weeks ago, three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Season's been over. Interesting to me. I think, well, here's where my, my here's where my mind goes. <clears throat> this is really going to make it harder for the Niners to trade Jimmy Garoppolo. I mean, God knows when he has the surgery, but they say he's not going to be ready until training camp. This, th that just makes him less appealing. He's a 30-year-old injury-prone quarterback coming off a major surgery to his throwing shoulder. He won't be ready for OTAs, won't be ready for minicamp. And you're going to have to trade for him, give up a draft pick for a, for a bridge quarterback that teams may not want for more than one year. He might be a one-year placeholder for a team that's drafting a quarterback or has a young guy uh, or it wants to draft a quarterback next year. I mean, who's trading for that? So I think it's possible that Jimmy knows that. His agent, Don, he knows that. And by waiting and creating this situation, they want him to be released. Why would they want Jimmy Garoppolo to be released? Well, a couple of reasons. It would allow him to pick his destination. The Niners are going to send him theoretically to whatever team gives him gives them the best return for Jimmy Garoppolo. Excuse me. Whatever team's willing to offer a third. And if it's Houston, you got to go to Houston. If it's, you know, whatever bad team, that's where you got to go. Maybe Jimmy doesn't want to do that. Maybe Jimmy isn't trying to help the Niners squeeze out a better pick in return. Maybe he'd rather pick his destination. I think he probably, Don, you probably understands that Jimmy would be a whole lot more attractive to teams like Washington and Pittsburgh, teams that could win with Jimmy next year if Jimmy were a free agent. Be a lot more of a viable option if he were a free agent than if you had to trade for him. Also, Jimmy has no guaranteed money left on his contract. So weird things could happen to him this year. If he gets released and signs a new deal elsewhere, it won't be for $27 million a year, but he'll get guaranteed money. It could be a one-year deal. He sort of takes control of his career again. So maybe Jimmy Garoppolo and Don Yee want the Niners to release him. And you know what? I think they freaking should. Because who cares about the fourth round pick or the fifth round pick you might get for him? Just release him. What's more important is to get the salary cap space as soon as possible, as opposed to waiting. Because if the Niners trade Jimmy, they're going to have to wait, right? They're going to have to, people are going to want to see what happens with Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson because he, he's down the pecking list of pecking order of quarterbacks you want to trade for. So by the time you finally maybe trade him for a fourth round pick, the first wave of free agency is over. The second wave of free agency is over. You haven't been able – so you, you you save cap space, but you can't use it this year. You want to use the cap space in wave one of free agency so you can get a, a number one cornerback or a playmaker at strong safety. You want to get a good player in free agency because Jimmy Garoppolo is off the books. You don't want to wait around, trade him late, not be able to use the cap space. Cut him. Jimmy Garoppolo is forcing the issue. I don't think it's a big problem. Who cares about the fourth round pick you were going to get? Whatever. It's not a big deal. What's more important is getting $25 million in cap space as soon as free agency starts. So I think maybe Jimmy's forcing the Niners' hand, and I think they should just say, okay, fine. And just spin it as, we're the good guys here. Jimmy Garoppolo, you know, he had this surgery. He really tanked his own value. But you know what? We'll be the good guys, and we won't hold him hostage. We'll cut him and let him find his own team because we don't really care about the fifth-round pick or the sixth. Because well, if he was worth a fourth-round pick without shoulder surgery, what's he with? what's he worth? Coming off a, a surgery, knowing you won't have him until July, August, a sixth, anything, maybe nothing. Who wants 
multiple years of Jimmy Garoppolo. Who wants to trade for one year of Jimmy Garoppolo coming off a of surgery? Nah. I he's getting released. I he's gonna get released. They're saying there's significant interest in Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah, as a free agent. So we'll see. I think he's getting released. I think he wants to get released. I think he wants to pick his own team. Let's see if the Niners hold him hostage. They shouldn't. Get that cap space, baby. 